Okay, so I'm going to work on my first Instant Pot recipe. Um, I used to do this in my old slow cooker. And so now I'm going to use the Instant Pot and see how it compares to my old crock pot. Um, so I'm going to make chicken tortilla soup. It's so simple. Okay, so basically you start by putting in three chicken breasts. I always use frozen. I find that it stays tender that way, it doesn't overcook. And then we're going to just throw some diced tomatoes right over it. Some enchilada sauce. All the quantities um, will be in the description below. Carrot, celery, and onions. A can of green chilies. Garlic. Corn. Chicken broth. Some water. And for spices, I have cayenne pepper, chili powder, salt, and pepper. And you could use fresh cilantro, however, I'm not a fan of fresh cilantro. I like the cilantro paste. So I'm going to be putting in the paste. Um, okay, just going to mix that up a little. Just to get everything combined. I mean, it'll happen while it's cooking, but I just like to do that. Okay. So I'm going to cook this for approximately six hours on low. Okay, so I'm gonna close the lid, make sure it's on venting, and put it on slow cook for six hours. I had already set the time, so you just up, go up and down. And in about five hours, I'm going to check it to see if the chicken is ready to shred. And I'll see you back in a little bit. The tortilla soup is going. I'm also preparing a um, nachos in the crock pot. So I start with four boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I trim some of the extra fat off as well. Let me wipe my hands. We're going to add some salsa verde on top. Poblano pepper, chopped up. And we're going to put some chipotle powder, garlic powder. And salt. And that's it for now. We're going to let this go on low for about five hours. Then I'm going to shred it. And then we're going to add some pinto beans. And then we're going to transfer everything into the oven with some cheese and uh, some chips. So we'll see you back then. Okay, so the chicken that I'm making the um, nachos with is at two hours and 40 minutes left. And I can tell, I just checked it, it's already ready to be pulled. So I'm gonna pull it. I 
and then add the pinto beans. It's like falling apart in the crock pot. I could have just put this in a bowl and mix it up and it would all fall apart. But and by the way, I tasted the sauce and it's very spicy. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this. in the crock pot. I'll show you what it looks like in there in a minute. Okay, let's move this. Let's take you over to the crock. And there, you see the liquids. So now I'm going to add pinto beans that have been washed and drained. I'm going to just mix it all together. Then I'm going to put this for 30 more minutes. And then I'm just gonna keep it on warm till I'm ready to put my nachos together. Okay. We'll see you later. Okay, so the soup is at two hours and I can see that the chicken is ready to pull. So I'm going to pull the chicken and put it back in. So I'm gonna do it the same way I pulled the other chicken. Let me use the fork. Let me pull these first. Pause this because this is boring. Okay, so I'm just finishing putting in the whole chicken into the soup. I'm gonna stir it. I'm also gonna add some red bell pepper. I don't like to add it in the beginning because they get too mushy. I save it for... I can actually put it in later too, but then I'm probably going to forget. So I'll mix it up and I'll just let the cooker finish its final two hours and then stay on warm. And we'll serve it up with some avocado on top, tomatoes, cheese, chips, basically whatever you like, sour cream. Okay, so this has been on warm. I'm going to assemble it. So I put 
to um, dishes with chips on the bottom and I'm going to place the chicken and the pinto beans all over sporadically. And then I'm going to add cheese. I just got the, the Mexican blend. And then I'm just going to keep layering it up. More chips. More chicken. More cheese. More chips. More chicken. More cheese. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so here's what they look like. Going in, We're going to put it into a 350 oven. Probably about 10-15 minutes. And then we're going to top it with avocados, scallions, tomatoes, olives, and some jalapenos, pickled jalapenos. Okay, so we're going to put some scallions on it. Just drop some on the floor. Right by my foot, maybe somebody could pick it up. Some olives. Some avocado. Tomato. And we have some jalapenos. I'll just put a few of those. Maybe leave some in a dish if people want more. All right, and so we have our soup station here. We have our tomatoes, avocados, and cheese. We have our spoons, our dishes, our chips, and the soup. We can't forget the sour cream.